The board is lighting up after the Jets decided it is time. Let's fire Robert Sala, a 2-3 and three start. They lose in London on Sunday morning to the Vikings, and they don't do it on the flight back. They don't do it on Monday. They wait until Tuesday morning, the off day, uh, to, to make this big decision. So the three losses you have at San Francisco to start the season, that wasn't a big surprise to anyone. But I'm sure things really started last week when you lose to Bo Nix. When, what, he throw for 60 passing yards at home in your house, you lose to Denver, and then you follow that up. Now, it's not the worst thing in the world to lose to the Vikings. They're 5-0. and They're beating teams. They're playing great on both sides of the ball. But, Sam, you got to agree that that was Sam Darnold's worst game. So now Sam Darnold is bringing his worst game, the Sam Darnold game. Sam Darnold got Robert Sala fired. That's what happened in the end. Sam Darnold didn't even look that good, and at one point he exited with a rib injury, but uh, this is now what they decide to do as soon as they touch home on American soil. They decide, let's fire Robert Sala. Do you remember I told you this? Last week, I read this text on our show from my buddy who's really close to the Jets. Great team, lots of talent, he wrote. Only issue, the moment they step on the field, they are instantly at a coaching disadvantage. Salah was a great coordinator, horrible head coach. He is only holding the team back. If they get killed in London, I can see him being fired. Now, they didn't get killed, but they did not look like a team that had a big plan to do what they needed to do coming into the season. And you give them credit for making the move. Um, According to Peter Schrager, Jeff Ulbrich is going to be the interim head coach. I don't believe that because the head coach is the quarterback. He is basically the head coach now, Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. He's the one making the decisions. Like, this guy's got to go. And so there's no word on Hackett, or did they say he's staying? I assume he's staying. He's got to be staying. I can't no imagine way. they would get rid yeah. of Aaron Rodgers' buddy, Nathaniel Hackett. You kept ha- you kept Hackett. You kept Hackett and got rid of Salah. I'm not saying that you got to keep Salah. I'll take him as my defensive coordinator. I think that's an accurate statement. I'd be very happy with him as my defensive coordinator. But as far as leading this team, no, it ain't going to happen. His game management skills lacked as well, and the group just wasn't buying in. Numbers-wise, the defense has been just fine. The defense is wildly talented. But you've got to fix things on the offensive side of the ball. Aaron Rodgers, you threw three interceptions. It's time to fire Robert Sala. That's basically what happened. I mean, last hour we were talking about the AFC East odds. I don't know that they make the most sense in the world. But this division has issues. Every team. Now, first off, at the very bottom, we know it's the Patriots. You eliminate them immediately. Probably going to be the worst team in football. Then you've got the Dolphins. They don't have Tua, but they're 8-1. to And the Bills have this one-game advantage. They just lose again, and it clearly looked like Josh Allen was concussed during the game. He had, by far, his the worst Josh Allen performance that I've seen in a very long time. And there were coaching issues. How much do you trust McDermott? So I'm going through this, and then you've got all the noise, everything going on with the Jets. Is this going to rally the team in any way? I think that's the conversation that we have to have here. Because the division, I know there's a heavy, heavy favorite in the Buffalo Bills, but I look at this division as being wide open. If Tua comes back soon, if he comes back soon, Dolphins are live, man. They're a game and a half back. Yeah, and ideally, you use the time now to get a little bit healthier. You got the bye. Miami has the bye in week six. So maybe you can bring Tua back in week seven. We were discussing the Dolphins at seven or eight to one to win the division. They have all the talent on offense. They just don't have the quarterback because he's out with a concussion. Um, A couple more points on the Jets. I don't Mm -hmm. know what this does to the team. I (laughs) I think it's hysterical that the organization sided with a 40-year-old quarterback coming off an Achilles injury who already is hurt with a low ankle. You already decided we're going to go to you over our head coach. So now what do they do going forward? Who's the head coach next year? And does Rodgers handpick the coach, but then Rodgers doesn't make it out of next season? So the ownership just has to be ready to rip their hair out. 
As for the numericals on it, BetMGM right now, the Jets to make the playoffs is only minus 130. That's it. And I don't say that to say I love it. I say that to basically try and understand that the books are saying this is a coin flip team to make the playoffs. Not minus 200, not minus 250, minus 130. A very slight favorite to make the playoffs. Lock and Fora might get his wish. This might just go straight to hell in New York, and they might just flame out. Plus 110 to miss the playoffs. Are you making or missing on the Jets? I would make. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would make. We've seen teams rally around interim head coach. It doesn't necessarily have to be about the interim, but now there's laser, laser focus. Whoa, this was a move. What was our reaction when we were talking to Michael Felder? Wait, what? This really happened? Is that the Adam Schefter that's reporting? Or who's, who's all got this reported? Are we sure we're positive? Okay. I was not expecting this. We're not talking about first coach fired odds, right? It's very early in the season, but it does happen. So they have a couple wins. We know that they have the talent. If you're doing anything, do you re remember a year ago what happened to Antonio Pierce? They fire Pierce and they go in this run. He still has a terrific ATS record ever since getting the job for good. So there's been a lot of times, and, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to look up the data and point it out, covering or just winning outright that first game, especially with the new head coach, it happens a good amount of the time. And now we're sitting here, and the Jets are a road dog against the Bills. Oh, no, they're a home dog, right? Home dog. Yeah, that game is at home. Home dog. Uh, two, two and a half. Two and a half is the number. Total is down from 44 down to 41. Josh Allen healthy? I don't know. What about the pieces they're missing on defense? What about Shakur? They needed him in that Houston game over the weekend. So the Bills are beat up right now. We don't know if the quarterback's 100%. His performance would suggest that he was not 100%. And now he's going against the Jets' defense. I, My first reaction is, give me the Jets. What about Rodgers, though? That's the like I don't think that people are understanding the severity of how bad the Jets' offensive line is. And Rod the oh, top his story... The yeah. top story on Fox Sports before Sala got launched, number one story, Aaron Rodgers leaves London banged up, dealing with low ankle sprain. So if that wasn't a thing, I'm with you. I'm going I'd to retreat. Be all over Jets. You're going to retreat. It's fine. It. Okay, you just ayahuasca to shoot He's him up like take a some donkey. Stuff. Yeah, probably. <laughs> He's going to want to show I mean, Sala that, that, that he still has it. You know that. Oh, he's going to play. He's going to play. Yeah. But look, so these these two teams in the last six meetings are averaging less than 40 points a game. I think the number is about 37. So this is, you know, in the last three years, granted, no Rodgers. you got a lot of bad quarterbacks on the Jets side of things. But this is, you know, last three, four years, an ugly football game. And you mentioned Allen banged up. I keep talking about Rodgers banged up. If these quarterbacks are going to go out there at 70, 80 percent, yeah, the move to the under makes sense. I'm not That's saying why. I love under 41 when I could have bet under 44, but you're seeing this offshore right now light up to 40.5. So they are still on a Tuesday betting the game under. And a lot of these 41s are juiced under minus 112, minus 115, minus 118. So, you know, it's coming down. Eventually, there's going to be some buyback. If you made me bet the game now, you got me all you got me all fired up to to bet some Jets money line. Though I wasn't thinking that this morning, but woo, yeah, yeah. Let, let's see the the health of the quarterbacks. Okay, what about the division? We're not betting Bills minus two fifty. No, at BetMGM. No, we're not mm -hmm. doing that. Would you consider either Jets? plus 350 that is out there or dolphins plus 800 what about patriots that like 90 exactly. to 1 or 100 to 1 <laughs> there i see an 80 yeah there's 100 <laughs> don't worry i saw 100 this morning and just started laughing that's how bad it is may. in new england yep just play mm -hmm. may what the hell yep 
Which one? Jets or Dolphins? <laughs> Probably Dolphins, just given the price. But price. again, okay. this division is so ah, like I don't know what to do because you have the good. Jets that just fired a coach, the Bills who just keep billing at the most opportune times for their franchise, and then you got Miami who's got a quarterback that just can't stay Ooh. on the field. All right, what? the Jets' win total is eight and a half. Eight and a half. You're going to bet total. over. You're going to bet over. I know you are. I think. I think you have. We, we talked about them going over 10 and a half before the year started. So now we're at eight and a half with a two and three record. There were people coach. saying they were going to win 12 games this year. Really Jeez. good people at doing this. Obviously yeah. that was a miscalculation, but in terms of buying jet stock, this would sort of be the time. It's been a sloppy start. You get the moron out of there and head coach. And he was a moron as a coach, as a leading mm -hmm. man. Good coordinator, bad head coach, which we've discussed on the show. So now the hope is that the team can see the light. And if they do, then yes, you bet them over eight and a half wins and you lay the 130 to make the playoffs. I get the sense that's where you're at. I, I need to see the injury report on Thursday and Friday because I have my concerns about the quarterback who just got the head coach fired. So it's, it's a convoluted issue, man. There are so many different sides to this story.